a man, a cam, a plan. That's been my motto on this channel. Friends and subscribers, this is a follow-up to the subscriber's choice video response I did. And I want to give you a little more information on how I do what I do here in China. And basically, I keep it real simple. Uh, I use uh, the simplest stuff possible that's the highest quality at the best price point. I came to Asia with a point-and-shoot camera, laptop computer, and external hard drive. That's it. And as you can tell by most of my videos, uh, there's not much production value. It's uh, just pretty simple, straightforward. I don't really have the time to invest too much into my videos in terms of production. So any additional production value that you get from my videos is a bonus because, believe me, it's not planned. I recommend this. Uh, the Sony RX100 is perhaps the best point-and-shoot camera that you can get period on a budget it is a wonderful cam the first edition of it is uh, a groundbreaker and you can get it now for just under three hundred dollars and that's the best deal you're gonna have going takes the best still photos takes great video is durable rugged and quite responsive the lens on it is a lot better than what you'll find in a lot of point-and-shoot cameras and uh, the software seems to be um, quite responsive too. So you can get the RX100 1, 2, or 3 series. Each one has its advantage, but I would go for the cheapest possible and get that if you don't need all the bells and whistles. Highly recommended. Great point and shoot cam. Rivals some shots that you'll get on a DSLR. To the untrained eye, sometimes you can't really tell the difference. So grab that, get as much memory as possible. Laptop computer, you can get uh, a lot of power for a, a low amount of money. Make sure you load it up with as much RAM as possible. And there's a lot of freeware software out there that you can use that will get the job done for you. You may not even have to buy any software packages at all because we're in an era where freeware has really come along and replaced a lot of the shareware or the retail box software that you may have bought you know ten years ago this is the right way to do it get a DSLR camera or a camcorder that has high resolution and do it the right way with good lenses and all the equipment battery packs and everything you could think of in professional software is the right way to do it but again if you want to do this on a budget you're gonna have to trim some corners and that means not spending thousands for the right equipment. The trend for YouTubers is to also use wearable cameras. GoPro being the most popular but now Sony and Panasonic have caught up and these wearable cameras allow you to shoot video without having your hands tied up and be able to do it even um, incognito if you need be. So. Um, this is a little bit more on the expensive side, but that price is going to be coming down. So uh, wearable cams that are in high def and have a larger storage space are very convenient. And in the next year or so, you're going to see a lot more of these on people shooting YouTube films. Keeping it real simple, what do I use for a mic? Well, I use a mic that uh, is lower cost than what you might think. This Sony earbud and mic set is what I use and it's what I found to be the best bang for the buck out there. The MDR EX 110AP mic and combo set. It has a higher frequency response than most of these mic sets in its price class. You're going to spend anywhere between twenty and thirty dollars US for it. It is dynamite for the cost and uh, I that's all I use for basically a headphone and mic. Um, the hard drive, uh, I use an external hard drive, that's a one terabyte external. You may not even have to use that. You can use flash memory, it's cheaper now than ever. And sometimes you get multiple flash memory chips and you'll be able to store all your video, audio and still shots on that without a problem. Mobile phones, try to get the best mobile phone camera that you can find because sometimes you're not going to be able to have your point and click camera to take your shots because of batteries or whatever so always have your mobile phone ready to shoot widescreen at the highest possible resolution 
And that's it. Low production, uh, low cost. You can get all this stuff. It's obtainable by anybody. It's not going to break anybody's bank by any means. Freeware software obviously is free and you just go out and you do it, okay? The production value is low. It doesn't take you a lot of time to produce videos, a lot less than what you might think. Now, uploading to YouTube in China is a challenge. That's a VPN issue, but that's a totally different, separate video that uh, I may talk about later. So there it is, a man, a cam, a plan, very simple. Uh, all this stuff can fit in a backpack with ease and you can go about your business and you can do just about anything you need to get done uh, and upload it and that's it voila real simple the way I like it and to add a light box is perhaps one of the most valuable tools you can use if you're opening up a small online store doing business on eBay or just want to promote a product or service and do it in a professional manner this light box here is foldable and portable and makes all the difference in the world when you're trying to make something look professional. A good light box and the best point and shoot camera or DSLR camera you can find and bam right there you've got a professional looking promotional video or still photos that will help your small business or whatever you're trying to do. That's one of my highest recommendations. I'm going to leave a list of the hardware and software that I use here on the comments section of the video. You'll be amazed at how inexpensive it is and how easy it is to obtain. Any questions or comments, just let me know.